Today I've got wet feet before I've even started walking, but look at that, completely worth it. I've run into a bit of an issue. My tripod legs have frozen to one height. I can't change the height of my tripod. <sighs> what a problem, eh? So the sun's just risen. I could have filmed it, I could have put it on camera, but I decided to just stand and enjoy it. It's not often you kind of get to experience this kind of thing in such a peaceful, beautiful place. It's possible that I might have got a nicer picture further on up the valley, but I'm pretty happy with what I've got here today. This is looking like it's going to be an amazing day's hike. Oh dear, I'm absolutely frozen after that. I spent about probably an hour standing about there. What an amazing place to watch the sunrise. That was fantastic. I'm really looking forward to the rest of the day now. Gonna make my way on along this little road to where I'm gonna start my climb. There's pretty much blue skies everywhere I look, so I don't know what my photographs are gonna be like. There might be some quite harsh light today, but we'll see what we can do with that anyway. All right, so the plan today is to take a trip up this mountain and then maybe over to this one. What a fantastically remote place this is. I haven't seen a car for ages. I started my walk here, I've just come through, there's a wee farm there at you. Dander through, I think I've probably woken up most of the people on there. Dog was barking away going mental. On up here for a little bit and then I take a left up that first mountain. I'm not even going to try and pronounce it. Yeah, I've got an absolutely cracking day for it. Look at the weather here. It is amazing. You can't really ask for a better day than this for being out in the hills. Oh, I'm so happy. for about 10 minutes now and I've spotted these icicles just up behind me. The icicles against the black rock look quite impressive. Oh, there's some of them falling off there as well. I'm not sure if you saw that. Um, I'm gonna march up here and I'm gonna have a bit of a look around to see if I can get, <coughs> if I can get any composition. It's gonna work up around here. The sun's shining right onto them so it's giving lots of contrast. This might be quite interesting. This might work quite well with the sun. here for about half an hour now just uh, clicking away around these icicles and it's fantastic there's a real sheen off the icicles and the sun is lighting them up i've just stopped for a wee break and a wee drink of water and a wee look at the views and my oh my it is stunning about here We've got that little lock that I was at this morning, just up here, and we've got snowy mountains all around. Not a clue what they're called. All Scottish names. I think this might actually be Ben Moore over this way. That's one that I do know. Um, I forgot my sunglasses, and the glare off the snow is crazy. It's quite difficult to walk in. I'm going to push on, I'm going to try and get up to the top of this mountain at least. Uh, there's another Munro just in behind it as well. 
but no, I'm doing fine today. It's cool. Got some lovely patterns in the snow drift here. You know, we've got a mountain in the background. This is absolutely stunning. The snow drift lines are just leading away off into the mountains. Uh, it's quite harsh shadows. It would be nicer if we had a lovely sunset or something. I don't think I'm going to stick about here for six or seven hours to wait for that. It just looks so perfectly formed. Look at this wintry wonderland. The shapes in the rocks are stunning. Look at that ice that's formed. That's so cool. I have made it to the top. Oh my goodness, that is satisfying. That is a tough climb in winter. There's a lot of ice, there's a lot of snow. That is a must for crampons. That is a must for an ice axe. The views up here are stunning. I'm going to try and get a wee panorama video, maybe just to show you what's going on. Oof. Oh, that was worth it. What I'm thinking I'm maybe going to do is, I'm going to try and climb this next one. The path that I'm going to take down, um, I think I'm going to go try and go down a different path, and um, back down onto that trail. Uh, so that's the plan. I'll leave you with a few views from the top. the decision to come to the other one and I am glad I did you should see the views well you will see the views from around here I'm going to get a few little videos maybe send the drone up again nearly there nearly there oh nearly there I have made it, oh my word. I made it to the top, this is me on my way back down to, oh well, I'm about to start climbing a hill again, but that was quite the climb, quite the day, quite the weather. You get that kind of thing too often, I don't think. Spent probably about 20 minutes at the top there. I uh, met another guy up there, just chatted away. Um, but yeah, what a day for being in the mountains. What a day. so peaceful. I've sat on a rock and I've sat here for probably about 10 minutes just enjoying the view, just taking everything in. Oh, I don't really want to leave here today. Wish I could just stay up here for the sunset. Just spotted my first Scottish fox. Quite exciting. Oh my word, I am completely exhausted. I'm looking forward to getting down onto the track 
and then I'm looking forward to getting down to the car. There's a little picnic bench down at the car, and I've got half a chicken and mustard sandwich. I'm really looking forward to sitting down and eating that. Also thinking maybe a little siesta back at the car. Look at the weather, why would you not have a little sleep out in that? Or just Bye-bye mountain that I climbed. I am on the track and on the way back to the car. Wow, what a day. I am exhausted. I was up at three this morning and this is me coming back down to the car at about four probably I would say. So it's been 13 hours of doing stuff if you are liking the videos please do like and subscribe that is a big help to me it does make me feel like people appreciate the videos and I hope you do I hope you do because I enjoy making them okay should be back at the car within about half an hour and then snooze As I was on my way back up that wee road, I noticed that the loch that I'd stopped at in the morning still had a fantastic reflection. So I pulled the car up and found a little place to stop and get the camera out. The sunset was fantastic again, it was great. This was just the perfect way to finish off the day.